Charlie Kirk was at an event when he got approached by this atheist who pressed him on his faith in God. Now, Charlie Kirk responds with one of the best, most concise answers I've ever heard to the question about why Christianity is true. So I'm going to let that clip play out and then I'm going to give my thoughts afterwards. Let's get into it. Are you a Christian by any chance? Uh, uh, very, very much so. Like, why is that exactly? Oh, Jesus saved my life. I'm a sinner, gave my life to Christ, most important decision I ever made. So you believe the Bible is real? Yes, like, I believe the Bible is true and, and real. Yeah. Why is that? Well, I could t give you the technical answer. There's never been an archaeological discovery that has contradicted the truth of the Bible. And then, of course, the wisdom. There is not a truth of the Bible that if you apply to your life, your life does not in improve dramatically. And then finally, uh, we have the most accurate and transparent, historically robust account that one can have of the most important figure ever to live in the history of the world, Jesus of Nazareth. And the resurrection is the, is the pinpoint of my belief that Jesus did rise from the grave so that we may live. If Genesis 1-1 and the resurrection is true, anything in the Bible is possible. You're looking at the greatest miracle. The greatest miracle is creation. And then the fact that Jesus rose from the dead, and I say, how do you know that Jesus rose from the dead? Well, show me another historical piece of a story where so many people willingly died a brutal death for a lie. Every single person around him had everything to lose, and yet they went to the absolute death from Paul to Peter to the half-brother of James, saying that Jesus is Lord, Jesus rose from the dead. Not to mention, if you were going to fake a story, you would not use female witnesses in the ancient world. In the scriptures, it said that the, fe the women were the first one to see Jesus Christ. If you're trying to fake a story, you would never do that. Not to mention the 500 people that saw Jesus after he rose from the dead and then the later church that lived under persecution under the belief that Jesus. I love this answer. There's just so many components to it. It's so dense and concise. And something that really stuck out to me was him talking about the power and the wisdom of the moral teachings in the Bible. And that's something for me when I was an atheist really convinced me that the Bible is the true word of God. During that time before I put my trust in the Bible, I was really into those self-help books, you know, like. How to Win Friends and Influence People, Atomic Habits, um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, all those kinds of books. And there is some wisdom in these, but it's kind of fleeting. It's not, it's not comprehensive. There's some things that will even lead you astray, so you got to be careful with these. But when I started reading the Bible and really applying the moral teachings of it to my life, I found that they were not burdensome, but they were easy and light. And the Bible even says that they will be. And it, they have massively improved my life, not only from the spirit of God coming upon me and the Holy Spirit and the peace and joy that God has given me, but just outwardly in my life, just being a better person. It's really helped me. And you know, there are so many, I didn't realize this till after I converted, way after, but there are so many moral teachings that are so common in our society, especially in the West, that are so powerful that we don't even know come from the Bible. And here are 10 of those that I'm going to read to you right now. You get out what you put in. No pain, no gain. You will become who you hang out with. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Two wrongs don't make a right. Go the extra mile. Think before you speak. Pride comes before a fall. Money can't buy happiness. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. Now, not all of these teachings are exclusive to the Bible, but in culmination with all the teachings of the Bible, a lot of them are in our society, and some of them are really unique to the Bible. And if the Bible was the word of God, we'd expect the moral teachings of it to be very applicable and good for our lives. But a bit later, Charlie Kirk was approached by a fake Jesus, and he had a very interesting conversation with him. And there's something very important that I want you to take away from the end of it. So I'm going to let that clip play out, and then I'm going to give my thoughts afterwards. Let's get into it. Well, I heard you kept saying my name, so I wanted to show up. You know, okay. I'm busy trying to save the planet from this apocalypse going on. You know what I mean? Jesus H. Christ, but uh, you can just call me Josh. Thank oh, you, everybody. that's awfully heretical, but okay. <laughs> All right, uh, why don't you ask me the questions? I'm sure you have plenty of them. Okay, what's the Hebrew word for uh, father? Man, you know, let me tell you something. Uh, Abba. I'm sorry? Abba. That's the Greek word for father. Yeah, Greek, you know, whatever. Point I'm trying to say is this, yeah, man. You don't look, even make a good Jesus. Wh whatever. What, what language did Jesus speak? Aramaic. Okay, tell me one thing but in Aramaic. But you have to understand, man, I have to come here to speak to you now. You don't speak Aramaic, otherwise you and me would be speaking Aramaic. Oh, okay, I have to right. speak this kind of dumbed-down stuff for the you. The enemy has come to lie, steal, cheat, and destroy. What did Jesus say? 
Uh, I said, love your neighbor. Wrong. The and enemy how has is that come working to, out, by the way? The enemy has come uh, to lie, I'm pretty sure steal. I said, love hold your on, neighbor, love God, You're not even a good God, Jesus. It's, and, one, of the most, and love it's one of the most popular verses in the Bible. John 10.10, 10, the enemy has come to lie, write steal, steal, and destroy. Who wrote that I, thing, anyways? I have I come to give life and life more abundantly. Okay, so you don't even know the scriptures, and you're pretending to be Jesus, but tell me why you're here. I am Jesus, and I didn't write the scriptures. I lived them. And, and the but main you thing I want to tell you is this. I said, love your neighbor and love everybody. That's something that you guys really need to figure out. And I know I got some of my fan clubs. Let's hold on a second. Hold on. Mind, what, my, what are those two verses? My name was love Yeshua. Your na- let's, let's, let's love your neighbor as yourself. Where is that in the Bible? I don't know. I didn't write yeah, it. Leviticus 19. Hold on. I didn't I thought, write the Bible. I thought you're Jesus. I'm you, Jesus. You, you know it's the Torah, about right? Me, not by me. Hold on a Look, second. The point is this, my hold friend. On. Jesus, I said, love Jesus your was your neighbor a, and love you're, you're everybody. You're battling so fast because you don't no, even no, know no, the Torah I'm as a pretend the same Jesus. Thing I was saying hold on the first a second. Time. Love, I, you see, nobody believed me the first time I was here, and then you fucking crucified me. I was just trying to say this, man. Love everybody. Love your neighbor. Stop killing everybody. You don't even know the verse. Genocides are bad. How about that? You want to put that in the Bible? You can add that as well. So okay, so you want to stop killing people who are just sitting there. I, that would be probably are you, are you a good idea. you trying to connect with Israel Hamas? Is that your uh, thing? Pretty or? much the whole world okay. at this point. we got a lot of issues. Ke- uh, Dr- Kendrick, Drake, and what else is going on around here? Look, okay, so I will wait, say this. They but, not like us, and this is pretty obvious. But I will. Uh, look, the point I'm trying to make to you, uh, and what was your name again? Charlie? Chad? Chadley? I thought you are Jesus in everything, Chadwick? man. No, man, I'm too busy. i got an actual job oh, to do. Oh, yeah, so you believe in a like, God who's too busy. If, not, if I were not like you, I'd be able to kind of sit here and you know pretend that you're the worst Jesus I've ever seen. I'm the only Jesus. And I will say this. I am the only one. Matter of fact, and I live in all of you, and thank you for making time for me, by the way. It's been a while. Look, I would say this. If you really are a, a, a fan of mine and you're in my fan club, just just be a nicer person, man. Well, just where be, does it say to just, be nice in the Bible? It's pretty much all over no, there. On, that, I mean, that was kind of what the does the point, word nice mean in Latin? The point I was trying to make It means make ignoramus. Where does it say? Love, wait, in the love, deco- Can you tell me the Ten Commandments? How about a- Let's more. go for the Ten Commandments. Want to do it together? Since you're Jesus. Let's go. Right. What are they? Uh, don't be an asshole, number one. Oh, okay, hold on. How about no, number one through on. ten? Don't be an asshole. Wait, that would be a great no, actually, one. Actually, that's, that's not one of the Ten Commandments. Much that, I am fact, the Lord that you delivered you from Egypt. You shall know the gods before correctly. me. You shall know the craven the images. Bible, I said, you shall never take the Lord's name in vain. You shall honor your mother and father's name live long in the land in which you are in. You shall honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not give your neighbor's house. We got a synagogue over here. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. We got a synagogue over here. One, two, and three. We got a synagogue. You don't like the you don't know the Decalogue. Okay. everybody. Give it up for the sinner, right. everybody. Good job. Thank you All for, right. uh, you, you are the worst Jesus. You don't know the Ten Commandments. You don't know anything. So Do thank you know, very much. Okay. Now, this guy needs to be really careful because the Bible says that God will not be mocked. So I'm, I'm just worried about him because if Judgment Day comes and he hasn't put his trust in Jesus, I mean, his condemnation is probably going to be worse than what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. And if you don't know that story, they got freaking bombed pretty much by God. So I'm worried for that man, but hey, he brings up a really good point that I want to talk about, and he said that Jesus did not write the scriptures, and he's right. Jesus didn't write any parts of the Bible, and that is a great question, and ultimately, we do not know why Jesus didn't write any of the Bible, but we have some pretty good guesses and reasoning to why he didn't. If you're not familiar, a lot of people overemphasize the teachings of Jesus in the Bible, the, the kind of red letter text that you see in some Bibles, and it causes them to place too much emphasis on that text and ignore other parts of the Bible, maybe written by some of the apostles. But the Bible says that all scripture is breathed out by God, profitable for teaching, rebuking, correcting. And so if there was a whole book of Jesus, it would likely cause many people to almost worship that book and place a court sort of special reverence on it while throwing out the rest of the scriptures in the same way if jesus left some sort of physical objects for us to have we'd probably worship them and make them idols and false religions and totally miss the point of what god was trying to do in the old testament we see that happening when god told moses to build that bronze snake to help the people of israel and after that whole escapade was over they took the bronze serpent the people of israel broke it into pieces and used it for some sort of idol worship so in the same way if jesus did all this stuff probably out of our own human weakness we'd corrupt it and turn it into something real nasty but if you want to see some questions like these answered in a similar fashion and get some similar value i recommend checking out the video on screen right about here I think you'll really enjoy it. With that being said, have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye.